the fun stuff. Uh, these questions go viral for some reason. I couldn't imagine why. <laughs> so, all right. How do you feel about plastic surgery? You prefer natural or DDLs? Man, I already come, man. Long as long as the pussy's still yours, fuck about the body. Hey, listen, man. Everybody got insecurities. I don't care about none of that. Just don't come to me talking about you got a new pussy. What the fuck is that? You got a mechanical Gucci now? Like, get the fuck out of here. Remote control Gucci. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about none of that. Whatever makes the girl happy, man. Let these girls live. Everybody got insecurities. Shit, I just heard a wild story. They got niggas getting their dicks done and all that. Niggas is wilding. <laughs> Shit, the girls got niggas going to get their joints done. Niggas is bugging out. But <laughs> niggas got insecurity. People is life, man. People got insecurities, man. Ain't knocking that. She got her body done. Go do your thing, baby. Listen, I'm listening to these niggas on the ground, baby girl. You feel like your ass and little pancakes. Get up out of IHOP and go get that thing, man. You heard? Go get that thing clumped up, baby. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to these niggas. They go ahead regardless. You can tell them that shit is made out of Pepsi can passion. They still go ahead it, baby. Don't worry about it, baby. Do your thing. All right. Couple so, of my niggas behind the car. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Okay. Well, I ain't gonna blow my. I ain't gonna blow a couple of my homies up. Uh, what do you think? This is the definition of a successful artist. Because you know a lot of artists is out here trying to do it. What do you think a successful artist means? Um, successful to me is if you could feed your family and live a certain, live the lifestyle you want to live off of it, that's successful to me. If you got a crib, you taking care of your kids, you're not in the hood, you living how you want to live, you know what I'm saying? And your money, and you living off the music, that's successful to me. That's the, you know, coming from where we come from, shit. You got to risk your life to get the money. or you going to get the city job, the nine to five. You want to see a hundred thousand a year. You got to work MTA and all that unless you selling drugs. So you yeah. feel like you feel like you reached your goal in this music show yet? Hell no. Are you doing it for the love? You're doing it to make music? I love I love music. That's why I'm still here doing it. Mm. I love it. But you know, but I got kids. I got love don't pay the bills. Yeah, man. love don't love don't do it. So I mean, it's past love for me. I need the money. I'm here to get the bag. I got kids, man. I got a mother, I got brother, I got homies. They got kids, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be when I I sit back and smell when my when my homies is in they cribs and I can say, damn, my rap really got my man a crib and his daughter going to college, man. Of what all I started off in the two bedroom apartment. You think you could wipe a shorty that you fucked on a Thursday? Yeah, why? Yeah, hell yeah, shit. Because if you make me wait in this trash, I'm going to be pissed off. Word. You give it to me that night, I mean, you was you feeling some type of way. You was feeling frisky, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens that way. That moment don't define you. Yeah, we want to fuck up the first night, right? Why they can't fuck us the first night? Why? Stop calling these girls hoes y'all not fucking too. Niggas be like, yo... She a hoe. You hit? Nah. Get the fuck out of here, man. Don't listen. I'm keeping it real. That's why the game need me here. I'm going to keep it real with you niggas and you ladies, man. Listen. Fuck me on the first night, man. Don't <laughs> listen to these niggas. I ain't going to blow you up. I ain't going to spread your business. I ain't going to put you in a rap song. None of that. They're going to keep it pee. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Well, all right, King. Speaking of real and fake, you know New York is a fast-paced place. Everybody's speaking a mile a minute. How do you determine between the real and the fake? Uh, what music or just life? Period. On life. Um, if you've been out long enough, man, like I always say, man, you can tell in body language how a person move when he around you, handshakes, how they look when you know what I mean, all that, how they move and how they look at. You know what I'm saying? I can tell. I can tell off the rip is like on Sun Solid, right. Sun Official. Nah, that nigga a clown. Like you can just tell. Like you've right. been out. Right. They might say they outside or we was up. Right, bro. But niggas been outside? No, man. I know I've been around the, I done been around some fake ass people and I done been around some real ass people. So you could you could tell. Cause if you move anything on how to the last nigga I thought was fake moved, then I know I wasn't wrong on the last one and I ain't wrong on this one. Mm -hmm. You niggas is fake. How do you or, how do you feel about cutting people off? Shit. You could go. That's cool. You need to, though. Sometimes every cutoff ain't beef, though. It ain't bad. 
Like, I cut you off. I mean, I just out, I mean, I just outgrew you, bro. You know all my time, man. Yeah. We can still save it up, nigga. Just, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, but you just not doing what I'm doing. It, it have happened. Shit, people fight, separate themselves from me. I mean, that bad ain't bad. They just not doing what I'm doing. Like, it don't mean that you're a fake nigga or you corny. If I'm doing music and taking care of my kids and running around, and you got you just dedicated to your nine to five, and you're not doing what I'm doing. So I respect that. Like, nah, I ain't running around with that nigga. He brown all these people. I don't want to be over there. There's a lot of people that look at it like that. Right. But every cut off ain't beef, though. In different mental spaces, different physical places. Exactly. Huh? All right, so you've been putting in this work. you everywhere. On the radar, it's Biscuit. I haven't seen... I, I've seen you everywhere, G. Yeah. You think that this 2024, we got some celestial alignment going on? It's the year that everything is finally going to pay off for the hard work you've been doing? Yeah, I felt like I felt like 2023 was like the uh, the ball setting year. I felt like it was my year to like say I'm here. I know what's up. Make my stamp. Let the let the let the uh the rap game in the world know. Like you know, you got some like dangerous on the way. Uh, I think I made myself clear last year on lyricism and my grind. I think this year, you know, this year is more for the uh brand, you know, branding and expanding. More about my brand and expanding and more more you no know, money, more spending, more money, and more you know, more everything like that. So this year is the year of. The level they always wanted, probably you know everybody that's around me, and people that's really solid fans of me. This is the year they they've been waiting for. Okay, let the people know where to find you. On Instagram, you can find me at k e e n s t r e e t z underscore. That's on the gram. Make sure y'all go follow that. On any other DSP King Streets YouTube King Streets TV. All DSPs, King Streets, K-E-E-N-S-T-R-E-E-T-Z, man. Go look that up.